Well, how do then, chums? It is I, Captain Stephen. Today, chums, I have now got tribes of Midgar. It's now midnight in the UK. I had a nap earlier. So I could get up and go through the tutorial with you guys in the viewerverse and give you my first impressions of said game. So let's get into said game, Tribes of Midgard, and we're going to be doing the tutorial because it's the only thing you can select when you first go in, apart from making your character look super swanky. When I say super swanky, there's not a great deal of Viking-like options. I would have liked to have seen some tattoos of Norse gods, but nope, nothing like that. And the portrait that you can select looks fudge all like your character. It'd be nice if it just zoomed in and done a picture of your face or something. That'd be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Rather than just giving you some other chap that looks fudge all like the character you've built but anyhow we're going in and here's the intro i'll shut up and let you listen Get ni li raika földa och fienda asgarder in slöst. Ein efter ein, seit falla när midgarder, brenir i redi birja endir alla lovid, när saga för saga. Kalla vi godar, stärk herr tjaval höll nuna, kem du baka hej, hur du ängdes slöst samman, Ragnarö. Well, alrighty then. I'm a Viking that goes around slaying giant Jontum, or just giants, basically, and they look freaking awesome, and this looks like it could be a pretty epic game. Like in the art style, what's this? I get to choose a Pokemon. Heck yes, sign me up. Which one shall I have? I'm going to have that horny one. Heck yes, I'm going to have the horny kitten. Yeah, look at those gnarly horns. Freaking Billy Goat Cat. <laughs> Love it. Right, yeah, I'm going to be going for him. Oh, he's got horns as well, but they're not as gnarly, are they? I'm going to go for the... Oh, but he's got one blue eye and one... Oh, they both got one blue eye and one yellow eye. Freaking <laughs> crazy cats. Nice. Well, I'm going to go for the... Um... Oh, I don't get to choose one. Do I not get to choose one? I think... Okay, well, I, I think I've got the blue one. I think I chose the blue one. I don't think I actually chose anything. Right, okay. Well, they've given me the task of picking up sticks. Right, am I going to play fetch with a cat? Is this going to be a thing? I don't think it's going to be a thing, to be honest. Cats do not do fetch. No, they don't. They just sort of look at you and go, what are you print sticks for? Yeah, I'm not doing that. I'm, I'm a cat. Yeah, yeah, no, there's no dogging cat. Okay, right, so here we go. I'm going to go grab myself some stones or some flint as well. Lovely. I think I have collected everything these kitty cats would like of Captain Steve. There you go. I've brought you sticks and I've brought you rocks. Now what? Okay, they didn't expect me to be so good at harvesting. Well, you've got no posable thumbs. I have, so I can do harvesting. Heck yes. Take that, kitty cats. Okay, now they're just sodding off. Right, I'm going to have to change these kitty cats down. Hold on, you've not told me what the run button is. Fudge and heck, they're too freaking quick. Look at them go. Ooh, I thought that gate came down there for a second. No, it didn't. Right, okay. So, um, do I talk to this woman? No, I talk to you cats again. Fantastic, okay. Mm, right. Fair enough. So just go where the exclamation mark goes. Mark. Great. All right. Apart from it didn't mark her. Brilliant. Okay. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, so far the, the quests seem a little bit... Mm. <laughs> All right. Okay. Flint pickaxe. Yeah. Okay. Great. How do I equip it? Oh, it said it auto-equipped. It auto-equipped. Did it? Did it auto-equip? I don't see it down in my quick menu. I don't see how I can pull out this freaking mining tool. Uh, yes, it auto equip. Yeah, all right. Auto. Yes, brilliant. Fine. And you can find armors and tools from your inventory. Nice. That you're not telling me which button brings up my inventory, so I could just hammer every single button on my joypad and hopefully find it. But yeah, it, mm, right. So that doesn't do it. Okay, you know what? Fudge it. Let's. Uh, right. So holding down L1, although it's got a picture of a freaking hammer there, L1, and uh, brings up a map. Brilliant! Okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> Budget what? Okay, uh, craft a pickaxe at the Tinker. I think I've already created a pickaxe. Why is it still showing that mission on the side? Okie dokie. Am I just being completely blind or something? Um, okay. 
Well, I, I know that I've crafted one, and the menu came up and said it's auto-equipped, but I'm not seeing it anywhere or any signs that I have got a pickaxe. Oh, hello there, cats. Okay, yes, just go where the yellow markers are, I suppose, on Steve. Yeah, sod what it says. It's, oh, now it's changed on the side. Great. Awesome. It would have been nice if it changed to that before. <laughs> to say that you've actually moved on from getting your pickaxe, wouldn't it? All right, okay, cool. Let's uh, hammer these then. Smash these. Smash! Lovely. Okay, well, I think I'm done. Let me grab some more. Lovely. And uh, what do you want with these rocks now, my little kitty cat friends? Okay, they're going to take me to a forge. Yes, another one of their friends. It's nice that these kitty cats have got so many friends. Let's go, kitty cats! And uh, let's, let's see what they've, uh, they've found now. Mm, okay, cool. Brilliant. I like the blue leaves on the Yggdrasil tree. Very pretty. Hello there! And yeah, talk to the cats again, not the uh, the guy that they've brought you to. Yeah, okay, cool. Now you can talk to him. Lovely. Villager sword. Craft my villager sword! Lovely jubbly! Look at that! And it's vanished. How the fudge do I get it back? And where have I vanished it to? I'm in a freaking loincloth. Okay, it's in my hand, that's alright then. I mean, where would you store such a weapon is what I'm thinking. It doesn't appear on his back. There's only one orifice I can think of where that sword goes. And that's not a nice fall, no. Okay, right, okay, brilliant. What have we got here? Oh, we've got to get some souls for the Yggdrasil tree. Right, well, awesome. So yeah, you can defeat creatures or upon opening trests. And uh, oh, it says they're uh, harvesting resources. But I've used all my resources, haven't I, to um, craft my pickaxe that's null and void. So I'm just going to run around and look for bad guys to vanquish. And I'm not finding any bad guys to vanquish. No matter how far I seem to run, there's no bad guys to vanquish. And there's no markers. And the only mark... Oh, hold on. Top right-hand corner. You see where is that little blue symbol is? I think that could be souls. I think I've already got them. Oh, for fudge's sake. Okay. Here you go. Give souls. There we are. I've given them all the souls. There you are. There's lots and lots of souls. Hmm. For a tutorial, it, it's... It, you know, there's tutorials that tell you what buttons to press or what buttons do what. And then there's tutorials that just give you the description and let you work it out yourself. Depends on what sorts of tutorial style you like. I kind of like the ones that tell you what buttons to press, funny enough. And maybe this is because it's on so many different platforms that they figured, well, you know, PC is going to have key binding, so there's a lot of work to do there. So we just won't freaking bother with telling you what buttons to press. This is my only complaint so far, chums, is it... it it's not really telling me what buttons do what. Apart from down in the bottom left-hand corner there, there is a little mini guide to what does what. Okay, so where do I go to kill these bad guys? I'm not seeing any new markers appeared on the map. Oh, actually, there's a little blue swirly thing that appeared. And now there's some purple dots. Purple dots. Let's go to the purple dots. And yeah, here we go. Let's punch this guy because I can't freaking work out where my sword has gone and my hammer button just brings out a freaking map. Okay, we're just, we're just gonna punch these guys. So look, there is some controls down here, but when you hold down R1, L1, like I say, it just pulls out a map rather than your hammer, which is weird. And I'm not sort of working out how to actually, I mean, I've got a punch at the moment, punch to punch, and it's got arrows to the left and right of it. I put pressing those arrows, don't do nothing on my D-pad, so I don't know what arrows I'm supposed to press to actually cycle through my weapons. And it says L3, I tried nudging the L3 hat stand, that did nothing either. I didn't try pressing it in though, let's be honest. Um, but we're, we're... I killed them all anyway, so we're moving on with the tutorial before I got to work out how to actually put my sword in my hand. I mean, it was in my hand when I was running around, magically disappeared into my magic orifice, and then I don't know how to get it back out. Not that I probably want to about sanitizer. Anyhow, lovely job. So far, this tutorial has got me sort of a little bit on the fence. However, I'm actually going to enjoy the full game. Because it feels a little bit janky, I'm not going to lie. It just feels a bit... Yeah, it's, I'm not really feeling it. It could just be me. Okay, right, brilliant. We've got a, we've got a giant appeared, and I'm trying to work out how, which weapon to have. It looks like the hammer's the best weapon to have, yet I can't work out how to get my hammer. So, but I have got a magical shield now, which... Oh, fudge and heck, that just vanished. Because I, I've, I've held down L1, and it, rather than hammer, it brings out the freaking map. Okay, well, we've got our shield. We're just going to have to freaking Captain Steve this. Captain Steve Rogers, I should say. With, a, you know, like a Captain America shield. There you go, take this. You, I'm going to hit you for 30 damage with my freaking shield. Oh, for fudge's sake. And down in my menu there, the only sort of special move I can do is a kick. Okay. Oh, hold on. 
I just pressed in L3 and it looks like I've got my freaking hammer. Lovely, I'm now hitting him for 700 freaking damage. Take that, Jotun. Yes, I can't see your face. Oh, there it is, there's your face. Now, the way that he moves, it, it is quite cool the way that he walks. Nice and gianty type strides. But then when he turns, it's like, zzz, very robotic. I don't know, maybe I'm just being super damn picky, chums, but I do like the art style. I do like all this shade, cell shadedness, and I do like the actual S effects that they've got for the characters' voices. They haven't voiced any of these kitty cats, which is a bit of a shame. They could have put some sort of noise to go with it, couldn't they? You know, but there we go, it is what it is. It is. Do I like this? I'm on the fence. It's only the tutorial. Oh, what have I got to do now? Okay. Oh, right. I can go back to... where? Okay, I can take the Biofrost and return to Valhalla. Fantastic. I will be doing that then, and I guess that's the end of the tutorial. And at this stage, chums, I'm still a little on the fence. I think I need to give it a bit more time. But the tutorial, I would say, isn't the best at being a tutorial. No. So yeah, first impressions. I like the graphics, I like the art style, I like the way that it handles, but the actual gameplay mechanics in the tutorial, a bit janky. Yeah, so far. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe, and I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers! And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.